Give honor to the only, Almighty God, this minister, Lord Spade. All my brothers and sisters in Christ, I just thank God for another day that he let me see one more sunny day. And I just want to just come to be encouragement to let you know that we all go through trials and tribulations. But you know, God is the one that can lift you up. And when I talk, I want to talk for a few minutes from Genesis the 41, the 41st, 4th verse, uh, Gen- Genesis 41. And I want to talk about Joseph, how, how he started out in a pit, but, the, but God put him in a palace. And I, I want this to be encouragement to someone because someone is going through struggles and they can't see their way. We see that Joseph was his father's, uh, Jacob's, um, um, he, he was his favorite son. And, and, and he had some brothers that was haters. And unfortunately, you know what? We have families that are like that. You know, they're civil and robbery and, and all of those type of things. And so Joseph, like, there's nothing new under the sun. You know, if we look in the Bible, there was a lot of dysfunctionality in the Bible. You know, there was a lot of, uh, just a lot of things going on. But, you know, God... He had a purpose for putting that in our lives because, you know, there's nothing new. Everything that you experience, God addresses it in the Bible one way or another. But we know the story of Joseph, how, you know, his brothers was hating on him. And, and uh, you know, they took him on a journey and, and, and they wind up, uh, you know, they plotted to kill him. But his brother Reuben interceded and they said, well, let's just sell him. So they they sold Joseph, you know, and and. And he wind up being in a pit, you know what I'm saying? A stranded from his family, you know, um, and, uh, you know, they took his coat of many colors, which his father gave him, and they put goat blood on it, told him that his, fa- his father, that Joseph had died. But I'm here to tell you that when it was all o- and over, you know, we understand that Joseph, he went through some trials and tribulations. You know, he was sold into slavery, but he could interpret some dreams. And, and then he had to encounter uh, Potiphar's desperate housewife who wanted to make advances. But see, when he refused, see, that's another story. And, and that's something else we got to understand. That we got to stand and we got to stand for right no matter who's offended and and who feelings we we hurt we got to stand and do the right thing and because joseph persevered and did the right thing the lord took him from the pit to the palace and i'm here to tell you brothers and sisters no matter what you're going through in this life if you stand on god's promise he will lift you up and he will put you on on wings of eagles and he will t- make your enemy be your footstool see the one that try to bring you down god will allow you that you step on their back to get back to the top that's just how god worked because it says touch not my anointed do my prophets no harm see you know you're gonna run into some naysayers and and people that only miss that want bad in your life and don't ever want to see you prosper see it's it's uh it's mind-boggling to me how us brothers and sisters, we don't encourage each other and celebrate each other's victories, but, you know, we'll put each other down, and that's not how we should be. If we all have the same vision, you know, we ought to rejoice in blessings and, and realizing that one day your time is coming, and one thing for certain, too, for sure what God got for you, nobody can take it. You're going to get it in your due time. So we have to learn how to wait on our season and how Joseph did. And he became second in charge. Only only Pharaoh was ahead of him. But he waited. And, you know, he was able and he had to turn around and help his brothers get food. I'm here to tell you that it don't matter what you're going through. But when you stand on the right thing and stand on God's promise, he'll make sure that you're okay. He'll give you beauty for ashes, brothers and sisters. And we have to realize we just have to hold on to his unchanging hand. One thing about it, your palace is coming, brothers and sisters. No matter what you're going through, if you're sick, you will be healed. If you're going through financial difficulties, call on the one who owns a cattle of a thousand hills. God is the only one that can take you from the pit to the palace. But you have to hold on to him. Know God. Let it take him at his word and let him you need to know that God work on his own timing. He don't work in our timing. But I'm here to tell you right now that I waited my appointed time like Job for the Lord to bless me. And and you know what? And, And I still know that there's still some blessings to come my way because God has already showed me that I just have to stand steadfast. And every time that you try to do efforts, you know, you're going to have those naysayers. You're going to be the ones that say they for you, but they really against you. You know, they used to say, uh, you know, 
patting you on the back looking for a soft place to stick the knife. But you know, at the end of the day, you need to understand that you're covered by the blood and God has charge of angels on you and no weapon formed against you is going to prosper and God is going to give you your breakthrough in due time. And just hold on to God's unchanging hand because he will take you from the path to, from the pit to the palace if you just depend on him. God will give you everything that you need and you will look back and your greatest trial will be your greatest testimony if you hold on to God's unchanging hand. And we not have to not be weary and well-doing knowing that God is going to take care of us. And we are aware of the enemy, knowing how that he is to kill, steal, and destroy. But God came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. I'm here to tell you, just hold on, brothers and sisters. You'll go from the pit to the palace because God said that he would take care of his people. He would give you beauty for ashes. He will give you houses you didn't build. You will drink from wells you didn't dig. You will eat from vineyards that you didn't plant because God is the one that can do it. And he will take care of you and you have to lean and depend on him I tell you you have to claim it claim your breakthrough claim whatever going on in your life to turn it around you know the old folks said that when you was having a dream especially a bad dream that you would turn it around and that's what you have to do for your trials and tribulations you have to see it through spiritual eyes that God is going to take care of you and that's what we need to do we need to see it through spiritual eyes that God I know that this is just a test and that you are just in and do, preparing me for something better. Until we have trials and tribulations, we'll never learn patience. We'll never learn perseverance. We'll never realize that we need the Lord to take care of us. But we have to hold on and hold out because God will take you from the pit to the palace like he did Joseph. And I just want to encourage someone because somebody is going through some things and they can't see their way out. But I'm telling you to Look to God. Look to the hills with coming to your help, knowing that all your help come from the Lord, and he will never leave you nor forsake you, and no matter what happens, he is going to bring you through. So just hold on and walk with him and let him hold on to you because he want to keep you in his perfect peace. He want to wrap you in his bosom. God got away, brothers and sisters, from taking you from the pit to the palace. And I just want to give someone words of encouragement just to hold on. It's only for a season because this too shall pass. And that is the only way that we can hold on knowing that whatever we're going through, it's not permanent. It's only temporary until God get ready to move. And what you ask the Lord when you're going through your trials and tribulations, Lord, what do you want me to learn from this trial? What do you want me to tell someone about it? See, God used you. In a test so that you can be somebody else's testimony. Somebody need to believe that. Because all the time the trials you're going through. Some of the trials are not for you. They for someone else. So know that God can take care of you. And live to be a testimony. And to be that blessed hope. See we got to realize. That sometimes we may be the only letter that somebody ever sees. And we have to realize. Walk according to his worthiness, do what does says the Lord, obey him, and trust him in everything. Even when you can't see how it's going to come through. No matter what man say, get the ultimate opinion, and that is through the word of God. Because he'll give you confirmation. I just wanted someone to know that God can take you from the pit to the palace. May the peace of Jesus be with you. I thank each and every one of you for the friend requests, the ones that are following, the one that is looking at. And I'm hoping that these videos are encouraging to someone and help them to understand that we have to be about our father's business. And we have to stand only to stand because God will not let us fall. And we have to realize that we never would have made it if it had not been for the Lord. I thank each and every one of you. May the peace of God continue to be with you. Minister Laura Spate. God bless each and every one of you.